What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Frill Shark of the Nice and Hedgehog here with our newest episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Um, I'm gonna break the fourth wall for you guys. I am recording these videos in bulk, so when I post a video, I'm not actually posting them when you would see them. So, yeah. But I decided that I did all of my Sunset City encounters off screen except the Machop one, obviously, because that what happened last episode. So I'm gonna go ahead. I actually should have just stayed down there. I don't know why I didn't went back over here. But I'm gonna show you all guys the encounters we got. Also, I got called again by the uh, the buzzer guy, so I'll obviously we'll go over those encounters and stuff like that. And I also will show off a bit of an event thing too. If you guys are excited, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Pro Shocker crew today because you'll be filling in the King of the Crew. So, obviously, last episode we got America with um, the whole matchup thing. And then we went and I believe we got our fishing encounter, which was a Dugon. It killed itself. Then there was an area called Sun Touch Exit Way. That's where we got Bronzong. Well, Bronzor. It will be a Bronzong. Then we got our TV static encounter, and it was Time Warp. Our Delta Cofagrigus, which is poison steel, but it's considered steel poison. Um, then there was the um, Ambipom event. Now, I will show that off in a bit, but the Ambipom event, which is a Delta Ambipom, by the way, it was Crescent the Lunatone. I decided to catch it, because why not? Then the um, first time you go up to the building in Suntouch City to do like the first time to catch static Pokemon, it was a Diglett. And before it was going to start this episode, I literally got it again, and we got McQueen, the Delta uh, Syndicate. And yes, the levels kind of do increase or average around. So it is a, this is always guaranteed to be a level 25, which is if you really want something like a level 25, this can instantly become a level 26, if not free will, and then basically being able to go. But yeah, I know I was I was really debating. We also got a couple of good uh, items. We just got a shiny stone. I got more money with the relic base. But I think actually it was 10,000. I got another soul dude I was able to sell and get like 10k for. We are just making money in this game. If you look at my party, my PC, I got a good couple of typings. I mean, I've got flying typing. I've got normal typing. I've got a lot of psychic typing. I've got a decent amount of steel because, spoilers, this thing evolves into an electric steel type. Not a lot of diversity in the PC, which I'm a little not happy with. Yeah, we're all gonna go, but also, oh yeah, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap for you guys. I did just a tiny bit of grinding, but that was only for really my knowledge. We're gonna go into this gym under level because for one, you can actually gain a lot of experience from the trainers depending on the Pokemon they have. And two, I really don't feel like grinding. It's so annoying. Until we get to the one area, then it's gonna be super, super easy and I have no problem with that. But first off, we have our starter knowledge here, level 20. Holding the Quick Call, which we got last episode as well. We have Flail, Confusion, Rest, and Imprison. We have Mel here, who's actually been really pulling her his weight on the team here. Our Swan with Bubble Beam, Air Lease, Wing Attack, and Water Pulse. We've got Geico here, our Robile with Fury Cutter, Absorb, Pursuit, and Mega Drain. We have Mother the Delta, Vespiquin with Ember, Under Defense, Poison Fang, and Medical. Holding the King's Rock. I don't know if anyone else has an item. Okay, no. Holding the King's Rock to flinch, since she is super speedy. We've got Cynthia here holding that Dragon Bane to power up that Dragon Rage. But also with Sand Attack, Sand Tomb, and Takedown. And we have Wanda, who also grew at least one level, but that was only because I was catching McQueen. I had to try to put that thing to sleep, so that's where we get the extra level. So we would... 21 with Hypnosis, Leech Seed, Side Beam, and Draining Kiss. So, I'm a little nervous for this gym. Obviously. Because the one Pokemon I don't want us to run into is a Zekrom. I do have two good answers to Zekrom, but if Zekrom still has Dragon Rage, that's where the problem lies. Also, I already did pick up the fresh water in the uh, thing here, so let's go ahead and battle these trainers. I was debating whether or not I was going to battle the trainers off screen and then just go straight into a gym fight, but eh, I said, you know what, let's just go and do it. But yeah, for today's topic of the day, we are going against Orion, who uses the fire and grass type Pokemon. That's right, in the gal in the gallery, in the um, uh, what is this region called again? God, I can't remember it. 
Um, Torn region. There we go. In the Torn region, um, in the Torn region, their gyms are based on a theme instead of a type. Ugh. So basically, I'm just going to make metal call here. I think that might do a little bit more damage. So basically, um, he's going to try to get the gym. Yeah, of course he is. So basically, Orion's gym is themed around fire and grass types, which means he uses the whole strategy of chlorophyll and stuff like that. So, for our cop for our question of the day, what is your favorite fire type and your favorite grass type Pokemon? Um, for me, ooh, it's kind of tough. For my favorite. Fire type. There have been a good couple of fire types I've used over the years, and there have been some I just love to use. Um, I'm gonna just try using up also my potions before my super potions because I don't want to waste them. But um, I really like. I'm gonna give two answers for each of these. It's gonna be one that's for competitive reasons, and then one because it's overall just I love it. I think competitively. I love, love Darmanin's hand. That thing is just a nuke button. And that thing is so good. I love that Pokemon so much. It's so great. Um, but for just an overall fire type, um, uh, it's kind of tough, man. Like, I don't really have used it of fire types i would probably say you know he's gonna probably hypnosis me i can't risk it um it's kind of a toss there's a, actually a decent amount of options actually there's things like arcanine which i really like santa score chandelure like there are some decently good fire types that i do like um Actually, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say Santa Scorch. Competitively, it's Darmanin 10. But if I'm overall going to pick my favorite fire type, I think I'm going to pick Santa Scorch. I think the fact that it's a fire Santa... Centipede, right? That's what I'm thinking of. A fire centipede is so cool, dude. Like, you're not going to tell me that a fire bug, a fire insect that can crawl around like a centipede does. You're not going to tell me that's cool. That is cool, and I really like it. That's one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, by the way, it's most so. Now when it comes to grass types, and this is where it gets a little bit easy slash hard for me. Because, like, legitimately, I don't know what competitive grass type I have ever used that has been such a success for me, you know? Um... I guess if I had to pick one grass... Okay, we're at least learning Swift, so we're at least are learning something. Um, probably order breast. Um, I would say competitively, I'm gonna probably say, um, uh, I haven't really used effectively a lot of good grass types. I'm gonna probably say Shaman. I think competitively, I like Shaman the most. Shaman, I just think, offers a lot of variety in move pulls and stuff, so I'll say Shaman. But for my favorite grass type in general, ooh, that's a different change of story because there's a lot of grass types I love. I love Tartara. I love Venusaur. I love, um, I even like Decidueye. Decidueye is really nice. Peter Cutter. That does no damage. Oh my god. See, so his ingrain grove. He's got probably a grass move. He might have astonish. He's got faint attack. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that did more damage than I wanted it to. Jesus. So he doesn't have a grass type move. That's stupid. 51. Okay, we burned it. We're safe. 
Um, oh, itchy, itchy. I would probably say my favorite graphics type to use in just playthroughs and stuff. I'm actually gonna probably go ahead and say uh, Torterra. I love that thing so much. That Pokemon is so good, and it's like it's literally the part of the Earth itself. Like. It's incredible. I know it's like naming it bonsai because of, you know, bonsai trees and stuff like that. I should be faster in this game. I'm a second. But yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Geico don't love these girls! But yeah. Those were probably my favorites. Based off of competitive. And the reason why I like to give a competitive answer... Is just because it, it wants to be different. Because I, I still do like Darmantan, but from, like, playthroughs and stuff like that, it kind of became one of those fire types that was just, like, forced to be on your teams. Just because if you needed the fire typing, which a lot of times you didn't really need a fire type in certain games. But certain, it would help. I mean, there's also Rapidash I really like as well. But... Okay, so let's go ahead and get Mel some levels here. Yeah, those are my, my answers. So yeah, let me know your answers in the comments section below. Did I really battle these? Okay, I was gonna say, I felt like I missed a trainer before that one trainer. I don't know who it was, but it's a Trico, and this is Trico, everybody. He's actually a fighting type, and when he's fully evolved, he'll be Dragon Fighting, which I believe is a typing we have never used before. I'm pretty sure, and. How would I feel like if Dragon Fighting was an actual legitimate typing? It gives you your first mo It's one of the very few mods that are extremely weak to fairy types. But, I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's not a good typing. No. Oh, I must have said no. It's not really a good typing converse... Converse... I, I cannot English. What the... Ugh. I can't speak. But, um, I don't know how I want to word this. I'm not exactly. Ugh. I don't know what the word here. But basically, it's one of those type combinations I don't think would really work together. Like, you look at Dragon Steel. Dragon Steel is one of the most broken type conversations ever. Like, why do you think Dialga is arguably one of the best Ubers to use in Ubers formats? It's so good! Right, so we're gonna get Knowledge back up here so we can get Knowledge retrained up. Knowledge is our starter. He has the big massive noggin. He is the man. But yeah. I think the type conversations in this game, I really wish, like... Ice, like, you look at freaking things like a little Ninetales from Gen 7, where they were basically, like, Delta... Oh, for the love of God, that's a Kiram. Uh. So we might just lose the lock right here. Okay. We can play around this. I see wind. I don't think it has Ice Beam. It's got Ancient Power. Come on, Wanda! Come on! There's a small chance it has Ice Beam. There is a small chance it has Ice Beam. I remember I used to I used a Kiram in a playthrough once, and believe it or not, I actually lost it to a Delta Whalmer from Sheer Cold. Because it was the same level. It's in prison, okay. So it's got Dragon Rage, Dragon Rage, and Ancient Power, Icy Wind. Okay, so we are good here. The worst it does to me is it does this. Just land! Come on! Don't get the boost. Don't get the boost. Don't get the boost. Thank you. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is he's going to take one turn to heal. I'm going to Draining Kiss here. It's, I know it's not going to do a ton. But it's going to get us back up here. I want to go for Leech Seed, but I just can't risk it right now. Alright, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's say even if he woke up. Okay, we are good. And now I can go ahead and side me. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god. That was so scary. Don't 
Don't. 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 I don't need more heart attacks. That's stupid. I have to waste one move to just do this. Oh my god. That was nerve-wracking. Oh my god. <sighs> you know what? I only have one of them. I don't really care. I don't really save those unless it's for like gym fights and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure I can always just buy them at randomizers and stuff like that. Alright guys. We're about to take on Orion. Are you ready for this, Uxi? I want to take that as a yes. Alright guys. Save the game. Because there are times this game does crash. There are times when this game can crash. Oh my god, dude. Just really nervous here. Sometimes the game has crashed on me, but it, it has saved. Alright, here we go. A challenger, huh? My name's Orion. I'm the leader of the South Dodge City Gym. I'm pretty good with fire types, and all my Pokemon work together in the light of the sun. That was a hint, by the way. Do you want to battle? I'm ready when you are. All right, let's get set. Let's get started. Wish me luck with you by my side. I'm sure to win. What? Oh, the rock? Everyone wants to know about the rock. It gets lonely being the gym leader, so I have to make friends where I can. Everyone in the city mocks me for it, but it's a lie. But I just know it. But whatever, that's not important right now. You want a battle, right? Let's get started. You won't stand a chance. I love it, and you're about to hear one of the best themes that I really hope. One day gets put in Pokemon that will match the Gen 8 Pokemon Gym Leader themes. God, I love it. And he leaves off with a Jellicent. That's not good. Okay, uh. What's the smart. I'm gonna go into Geico. It's got bubble beam. Does not lower my speed. Really? I know I clicked the buttons. It just. Eh. Alright, Mega Drain. That does nothing. Oh my. And you got Nightshade. Why are you so bulky? Alright, so he's gonna click a potion here. Because Orion is one of those units that does use the potion method. And we get a max roll! Let's go, baby! Let's go, Geico! Now this is level 22. Geico goes to 22. Alright, next is a Tim Pole. Okay, we'll stay in. Also, if I don't talk that much, it's because I'm letting you guys listen to this music. And I love listening to this music! So nice. I think 24 was his Ace or was 25. It's a Ms. Magius. Okay. Fun fact, guys. This is another one of those Pokemon that's a Delta form. It's either the Ghost Typing or it's Ice Fairy, which is pretty good, too. I think for this... I'm going to go into Garchomp. Not Garchomp. My Cynthia. And just figure out exactly what this is. Okay, it's normal. So I should just be able to Dragon Rage twice. And we should be good. Okay, thank God he didn't Destiny on. I was a little scared he was going to click that. This is so good about having Dragon Rage. I can literally just TK a high level Pokemon. Superior. I want to stay in and see what this is. Okay, it's Grass Superior. Okay, I'm just going to write Dragon Rage. And it has the Black Sledge. Because that's originally the um, Leftovers Pokemon, but no Leftovers for you, boy! And I'm going to get another level. 
So Garchomp's gonna be a Garchomp. Why do I keep calling this Garchomp? I'm jinxing myself by saying Garchomp because I know I'm not gonna get a Garchomp. I'm like, it's good. Well, that wasn't bad at all. What a great battle! Here you go, congratulations! You got the Thermo Badge! And here's a reward, take this too! Come on, bro! Originally, this is Flame Charge, obviously, because it's Fire-type gym with Grass Pokemon, but most likely it was focused around Fire-type. That's New Game's move Flame Charge, but it's actually confined, so get pranked, son! It isn't that strongest thing ever, but it will boost your non resistant speed every time you use it! Your next gym will be in Vivic City to the south of here. The leader Xavier has a forest theme and specializes in bug and poison types. Good luck, Challenger. Now, when he says bug and poison types, it's again not bug poison Pokemon because there's very few Pokemon that ever have that typing. It's actually bug Pokemon and poison Pokemon. So he can have a Grimer, he could have a Mock, he can have this and that. But yeah, so yeah, we got. Gym was slightly a cakewalk. Slightly a cakewalk. But we got lucky. That's a fair thing as well. We got lucky this gym. Whew. Hey, Ruler, it's me, Nora. Is someone running here right now just now? She looked panic. I wonder what that was all about. I want to check it out. <clears throat> I, I'm pretty good at doing soft voices, so... But yeah, let's get into the story here. Hi, Minnie. What are you doing here? I'm in the middle of my work shift. I'm accepting challenges right now. All right, you know what? You need to get out of here. I saw a cultist enter the city, and they were talking about you. I don't know what they're planning, but we need to get out of here while we can. We still can use your problem. Are you serious? You're right. Are you serious? You're right. Can you help me carry this? My friend is pretty heavy. Old Tardinations, are you serious? We don't have time for this hooligan sting. There are cultists coming to attack you or worse. That thing is just a rock. It's not real. Ditch the imaginary friend. Let's get out of here. For crying out loud, this is why they shouldn't let kids be gym leaders. Ah, <laughs> uh, too late. I just battled Kira. Where is he doing here? Ah, my apologies for the loud lane. Legendary Pokemon are hard to control, you know. This beautiful creature's name is Kira. It is a very powerful Pokemon. Its breath is said to be so cold it can freeze flame and electricity solid. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Team. I work for the cult known as Perfection. We're not quite as aggressive as the rest of the cults. So we kind of do our own thing. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't take us lightly. Lightly. We still have our goals and we'll stop at nothing to achieve them. Which brings us to why we're here. I clicked A. No way! I'm going to protect the stone! You're not going to take my friend away! <laughs> You're friends with the rock. Really? It's the friends with Dwayne Johnson? Man, I want to be friends with him. Do you talk to it? Two, are you guys best friends forever and ever? That's so cute! Listen, our Tain wasn't. You're not acting very friendly here. Tell us what you want and leave. Tell you what we want. What do you know what? We want the kids rock. What? No way! I die first! It's been fun messing with you, kid, but now it's time for the adults to talk. Get out of the way. Not a chance. Leave us alone. Go, Force Palm. Incident child. <laughs> Did you just slap him? What's wrong with you? That was absolutely just. What was that? That, my dear girl, is the reason. Just because I mocked Orion doesn't mean I don't know what it truly is. I like how they sit next to each other. And ladies and gentlemen, it is... Reshiram! I wonder what these symbols do mean. Are these the legendary symbols for these Pokemon? Like a Scorpio kind of thing? And everything like that? Like, it's like the symbol, like the Tau, Scorpius, and stuff like that. So, I'm kind of curious with that. Whoa, 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 what is that? That is Reshiram, the being of truth. Many years ago, Reshiram, Mykirum, and a third Pokemon, Zekrom, used to all be pieces of the same Pokemon. However, fighting and warrior eventually split the three apart. Reshiram was sealed in a rock known as the White Stone, which seems to have fallen into Orion's care. I'm out. 
It seems like Reshiram has fled. Very well, at least we managed to awaken it from the stone. And now we chase. Let's get going, Kira. We have a dragon to catch. Alright, I'm so sorry, Sugar I didn't know. I didn't believe you. You were completely right. And now your friends fled off. I don't see you two there. Who are you, cultists, do? No, of course not. We're trainers. I didn't think so. You aren't dressed apart. My name is Harmony. I'm the gym leader of Son Sonata City. I specialize in normal and fairy types. So are you two had to see that? I'm assuming your challengers. I'm a challenger. I might be the lion warrior today. I see. Can I trust the two of you keep what happened today a secret? Or I could be in danger if news gets out. Don't oh, trust me. Brother and I have a few of our own secrets. I believe you. You stop by some AC time. You can challenge. What the? What's that? I'm back. Rishiram, you came back. Oh, thank you. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> okay, it's Rishiram, cool to man, his best friend. Even though I'll probably be less safe here, it only feels really, really feel comfortable with Orion. You're right. Orion, you have to be careful. None of the challengers coming into the gym can see Rishiram. You never know who might spill the beans to the freaky wicky blue hair guy. I'll be careful, Harmony. I swear. Thanks for stopping by to help out. She didn't do anything. No problem, sugar. I need to get going, and I'm sorry for not believing you. Reshiram, huh? I knew you were alive all along, but I never dreamed you were a legendary. I'll come and challenge you later, then. I'm guessing you two have some catching up to do. Yeah. Thanks. I'll bow you later if that's alright. Okay, brother. You go ahead. I'll bow Ryan when you're ready, and I'll catch up with you later, okay? Oh, and take this too. It'll help you get around the region faster. Instant Lapras! Which means instant surf, baby! Oh, God. By the way, Orion, uh, you're about to murder everyone with that Pokemon on your side. Just letting you know right now. Also, how can you guys need catching up to do? You guy, he was literally gone for like, what, five minutes? And he came back, like, I don't get it. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first badge. I'm going to see actually how long have we been recording for. Again, I don't care about not being a professional YouTuber. We've been recording for about 27 minutes. We can keep going for a little bit. Maybe get an encounter or two. Also, I can go ahead and talk to this right here. Because I meant to also do this. So, I got a Delta Amy Pump event. So, basically, what you do to get this Delta Amy Pump... Wait, where is he? Oh, darn it. I did it, so I can't do it. So, basically, there's going to be a ball guy that stands right here. You talk to him, he's going to be like, oh, my garden's being attacked by this monstrous pro monster thing. You get, you're, There's going to be honey you can find on the route, but obviously the honey's going to be randomized. But I'm going to show you where to get the honey. Basically, you talk to him, and then after you've gotten the honey, Skyplate. Arceus, where are you, man? Then you basically talk to him. You go up to where the tower thing is where you went and did the event stuff for the Pokemon, right? Then you go below it where there's a bridge and leads you to the garden where the guy is going to be at. And then you talk to him again. You keep talking to him until he eventually triggers the event where, oh no, the monster's back. Go and beat it up. Then that's how you get Delta Amy Pond. All right, so there should be now a certain Pokeball that should be allowed now. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. The Nuzlocke Balls. And these, ladies and gentlemen, were the balls I was talking about. I will pick up also a couple of the great balls. I'll probably pick up about 15 of those. I sell for the exact same thing, but I don't care. I'm going to pick up more super potions because I can. Um, how many antidotes do I have left? I got four. I should probably pick up a couple of paralyzed heals and awaken. I won't buy a lot because I really don't need a lot. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we are stacked on Pokeballs. We are st Okay, hold on. I don't know why my game... The, the running lags, I don't know why. It just likes to do that to me sometimes. You hate to see it. Also, there are certain Pokemon moves that do move boulders. And the question is now, do I have a Pokemon that can move Boulder? No! God dang it! 
By the way, this is the Sun Touch exit way that I got that uh, Bronze Ore encounter. Up next, we're on Route 3. And I didn't mean to run into the trainer. I meant to get the encounter first. And while I'll also do, guys, is probably near important areas, I will battle all the trainers off screen. And if there is anything important to recap, I'll show off the re areas to recap. So, he's got a plus ult. So, that's probably an instant switch out for me. Uh, let's go into Geico. Geico kind of walls electric typing. The worst it can do is swip me. It copycatted me, so it's not going to do anything. And like I said, it's just going to swift. And damn, plus it's fat. Like, I'm not saying anything's wrong with being fat, but it's just like, God. Like, my special attack is real. Wait, he went for something. Wait, is this speed time? It has to be a speed tie. All right, I'm not risking it. Not risking my Geico. Not risking my Geico here. And since Mother needs to get at least one, get a couple of experience points for level up, we'll just switch in. It's not gonna really be the best spreading this amount of experience, but hey, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Ember. Copycat. You just copied your own move. That didn't help you with anything. That Ember didn't even help you at all either. Oh, 644 experience, that's fine with me. We need to get a better fire type move, though, I will say that. Um, not to... Um... I, I'm pretty sure Mel should be able to handle him, too. Pretty sure Mel should be able to handle him, too. Yeah, recording day is almost over. Um, I might record a couple more episodes, but I got a couple of things I need to do today. I need to go see my dad. He needs to borrow my clippers so he can uh, shave his head. He's gonna shave my head because I really desperately need a haircut. I think it's been like several months since I've had a haircut. Well, not, yeah, it's been several months because I desperately need a haircut. <laughs> all right, do we need to heal? Yes, we do. And I'm gonna use up all of my potions, not my super potions. Those we're going to hold on to. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to put knowledge up front. I, I hate it when it does this. Alright. Alright, so let's get our... Red scarf. That doesn't do anything for me. Okay. First encounter! Oh, why? All right. I, I guess it's better than nothing, and there is a Delta Sun. Delta Sun Four. That's a spoiler right there. All right, should live another one since it went for the absorb or it's Mega Drain actually. God dang it! I mean, there is a Mega Sun Floor, and with the you know fuel items being randomized, there's a good chance we'll get it. And watch this Nuzlocke ball. Makes it so easy. Makes it so easy. You can say they're kind of cheating in a way to use them because it's all, they're not gar I'll say this. They are not guaranteed to catch the Pokemon. I will say that right now. If it did, you bet your bottom dollar it'd be nothing using but nothing Nuzlocke balls. No, these are basically they have the properties of a Great Ball, but they act as an Ultra Ball. Um, we're gonna name this on Florist. I think that's how you spell Florist. But yeah, we're gonna go Florist here. And, uh... That's upsetting, man. And you know what's funny? This guy we're gonna get potentially a Delta Cypher from? He takes a Steel-type. What do I have on my PC? Two Steel-types. Let's see if we can try to get to that guy. I'm gonna try to avoid the trainers. Because like I said, I have no problem battling the trainers off-screen for you guys. To, you know, give you guys... How in the heck did I run and not encounter a single Pokemon? I got another Moonstone. But yeah, right here... I also don't mind showing this off, too. So you follow this path right here. And you're going to see an item right here. That's where the Hamet... The Hamet? That's where the honey is. In the game. 
But right there, that was randomized, and I got me a comment shard. So you know what that means? I'm making more money. <laughs> I cannot stop making money in this game. A deep sea tube. That's normally a rare candy. Now let's see what he wants. We'll probably get one more encounter, and then we'll also see what it's like. Or a power Pokemon, I'll trade you if you want. My diggers be for any bug type Pokemon. Hmm. I do have a Venonat in the PC. But is it worth a Diggersby? Diggersby doesn't have the chance to be. <gasps> it's a Marshtomp! Yeah, uh oh. That wasn't fair, Marshtomp. Also, 69 HP, baby. Gonna do. Ow! Okay, gonna mud shot. Oh baby, this is an awesome encounter. And mm, I kinda, I kinda want to use it. I really kinda want to use it, but that means I have to get rid of Mel. But we already have a ground type on the team. And I still wouldn't. I still would have a bit of a grass weakness. Oh. Uh, can you stop? Sh can you stop? Can you just stay in the ball, please? And you see what I mean, guys? No soft balls aren't going to be guaranteed to catch the Pokemon. They still have a chance to break out. Because, again, they're going to function like a Great Ball, but they'll work as Ultra Balls for the catch rates. The Mudfish Pokemon. Shoutouts to the, my boy, Devin the Swampert. And my homie Devin, who actually looks like a Swampert when he's Mega Evolved. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and switch this thing out now. We're probably going to get Delta Ivysaur some love. Because Delta Ivysaur has not gone that much love. And I feel bad for her. She's very much deserved. She's a very independent Ivysaur that needs no man. Except for Cosmo. Even though uh, Cosmo is a guy. But <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode here, guys. Um, Let me know what episode links you're going to go with. I'm going to try maybe do occasionally an hour of power. I'm going to do maybe just 30 or 30 or 45 minute episodes. Just a couple of things. But what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to go ahead and battle all the trainers off screen i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys any potential spots you can miss out on certain things and then next episode i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do a rival battle and that is gonna be fun but i'm gonna make sure that rival battle, like any majorly important battles i promise you guys they will be done on screen and routes will also be done on screen and we'll just clear out the rest of them when i start them or if we do them, okay i'm not gonna purposely just skip out all the routes and then there's like no kind of like in between filler kind of stuff, you know. And yeah, there's gonna be maybe one guarantee encounter, but I'll go over that where I get it and everything like that. But other than that, guys, that has been for me. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Phil Shucker crew today because you can feel the team of the crew. I mean, like you can watch me on the television, like I'm watching myself on the television right now. Wait, that seems weird. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Real Shocker, nice to see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, guys. I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to answer the common question of the day. Peace.